Hey, Billy here. Today we're going to be going over uh, PWM instructions on how to change your battery type. Uh, in order to get there, though, I have to disconnect a 40 amp MPPT solar charge controller and then connect the PWM. So for people who don't know how to disconnect and to connect um, charge controllers, this is a quick step by step for that. If you've never seen this before or ever done it, this uh, could be helpful for you. But again, if you've already seen these, you've done these, uh, you might want to skip to uh, the three minute and six second mark and we'll get right into it at that time. So whenever you're disconnecting a solar charge controller, you want to disconnect the solar panels from the controller first. And then after that's disconnected, you'll want to disconnect the battery from the solar charge controller. And once that's disconnected, we'll grab our PWM. This one's a 30 amp PWM. And when connecting to a solar charge controller, you want to connect the battery to it first. Make sure the bare wires are, are put inside. And when you screw it down, give it a nice um, tug on the wire to make sure it's not going to pop off, pop out. In most cases, your wires are going to be um, a red and a black cord. We happen to have two black cords. Um, so you've got to be very careful which, which one's positive, which one's negative. But um, I'm, I know which ones are which. Um, but normally you want to have a red cord for positive and a black cord for negative. And once you get it, uh, you put your negative into the negative slot and positive in the positive slot. Screw it down, tighten it up. Give it a little tug on that wire again. Make sure it's not coming out. Next, we're going to connect the solar panels to the uh, PWM. You can tell that's the black cord for negative. Give it a little tug. And then we'll put in the positive wire. That's the last wire. At this point, sometimes you might see a little spark. Um, it's normal, but it's nothing, nothing dangerous. It could be a little shocking. But here we go. This is the PWM. You want to select the menu button until you see the full screen of everything. Hold down the menu button four seconds until the different selections of batteries starts flashing on the screen. This one's flooded that we just selected. You hold down the menu button for four seconds, and then in the bottom left corner, I'm pointing at it, you can see FLD, a little battery right there. And let's say, you know what, that's not the one I wanted. You're going to hold down the four for four seconds the menu button again. It's going to flash the selections. We're going to use the set button to switch to a gel. Hold down the menu button for four seconds. And then the little battery icon in the bottom left corner has switched down. And it'll say G-E-L in there. Let's say we don't want that one, though. We'll put it down again. Hold the menu button for four seconds. The selections will flash. Use the set button. Now we're going to go to sealed lead acid. Hold down the menu button. We'll take a closer look. And you'll see the little battery icon has moved over to the right. Now we're going to do something a little different. What if you want to switch the um, battery voltage? Maybe you got a 24 volt system or a 12 volt system. You want to switch that around. Hold down the menu button. Locks it in place. <laughs> this is a 12 volt battery, so 
you're going to see a little happy, unhappy face there. So the, the, the PWM knows if it's the right battery or not. So you're going to want to just toggle your menu till everything's there. Hold down menu. Get on user. Use the set, set button on user. Switch it over to 12 volt. Hold down the menu button. And then it'll come back up. He'll be happy face. There he is. So if this was helpful for you, uh, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. They'll be coming out shortly.